Hi everyone, it's Rick here from The Game Creators. I'm going to show you some more features of the scene editor in this video. Here we've got uh, a scene already created. I'm going to drag in a background. As you can see, I'm just positioning it to the top left. I can put grid mode on so I can snap it in. If I zoom out a bit, as you can see it's two screens wide. Make it a bit longer there. Maybe scale it down so the bottom matches there. Push it there a bit more. Now, we've got this really cool new feature we've added. Set the object, I'm going to lock it. But I'm also going to enable sprite UV scrolling. Now, if I go into start test mode and I change these values, let's say change it to 2, you can see it adds some scrolling to it. Let's reduce that down a bit. That's perhaps a bit too slow. There we are. Sometimes when you're editing, you don't want to see the whole of that. Let's just unlock it once more, select it. And if we click on crop to size a visible area, then we don't always have to see this edge section. We can hide that away. So let's lock that sprite again because we don't want to change that. So let's add a few more sprites. This is a pretend sort of game over screen. So you probably come here once your game's over, a button to quit maybe. Let's put the grid mode on again, help position these, scale them so they're the same size. You can also set on snap resize to grid like so. So they look the same, there we go. Position them there. Happy with that. Turn the grid off again. Then we've got some background graphics here. Quite small, so let's scale that a bit larger. Turn off the snapping. And yeah, I want that uh, to be in the foreground, which it is. And again, I can use the UV values on these sprites. So on this sprite, let's just have it scrolling. Let's say, oh, it needs to be, it needs to be high, doesn't it? Because it's ahead of the background. And there we go. So that's a really cool way just to set up a bit of scrolling in your screens with some properties. Another cool feature is to hold down your shift key on your keyboard, then click and drag, and you've got this elastic band that lets you move around the visible area and see your world. So if you've got a very big level, it's a quick way to just to nip around. Obviously you've got the slider bars there as well, but that's not always the easiest way to do it. This is a quick way to just move around no matter where you are. Sometimes images come in sprite sheets. So here's an image, if we zoom out a bit, you can see there's all these spheres. There's eight by eight. And you can turn that into a sprite sheet, and I'll show you how. If you move over to the scene manager, if you right click, you can set up the sprite sheet. You tell it how it's divided in rows and in columns add the sprite sheet and then all of the individual sprites are cut up for you to easily access. You can drag them in individually. Now let's take a look at how we can take some sprites and reference them within our code. So I've just placed uh, a number of sprites across here and what I'm going to do is select them all okay, and I'm going to assign them to uh, an array group called Sphere. So I do set array group on all selected sprites and now the array group will be called game over underscore sphere. Game over is the name of the scene and sphere is the individual sprites in this particular array. So um, we've got the 2D view of the scene editor. The script for everything we've laid out on the scene editor is shown here. 
it's best not to mess around with that. And then we've got our main part of our program. And how this works is we have a hash include for the game over scene. That brings in this code seen here. And we're going to now do a bit of code. I've just written it. I'm just taking it out of REM. And we're setting an angle, a float angle. And we're going to rotate around 360 degrees. So we're going to rotate this sprite. So we're going to work through the array. So from 0 to game over underscore sphere dot length. That value will give you the length of the array. And then we reference the sprites within that. So game over underscore sphere uh, brackets i. So it will go through every single sprite in that array. And it will uh, rotate the angle. OK, so we just run that. You can see that all these sprites are rotating. Okay, so we go back to the scene, to the 2D view. Yeah, we can move them around. We could even take one, change its size, take another, make it smaller, put it somewhere else, run the code again. And you see they're all being called from the code. And that's how you make that link from the visual side to the code side. Play around with it, see what you think. This new version, Alpha Build 0.50, is now available for you to download and start using if you pre-ordered. Don't forget, 50% off App Game Kit Studio in March. There's only a few days left, so act now to save. Tell your friends, tell everyone that this is the best time to buy. OK, thanks for watching. We're going to bring in more exciting features in April as we keep developing App Game Kit Studio for its big launch in June. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. See you later.